Hi, I'm Amelia. So, before moving here, I had envisioned what life would be like as an intern at a woman-run nonprofit. I would be out in the field making a real difference in the community and in the field of environmental action. So when my mentor Sophie asked me to help her with the workshop, I was overjoyed and I jumped to help. For some backstory, Climable, my internship, is a small organization that makes climate science understandable for everybody. We were holding a workshop at Northeastern for experts to discuss current issues of climate change and brainstorm solutions for Boston. We were two weeks into the program when Sophie told me that my help would be appreciated at the workshop and asked me to attend. Naturally, I got ahead of myself. I pictured myself writing down notes, engaging in lively conversations with the experts, and suggesting my very own solutions. The night before, as I was laying out an outfit that I thought was professional enough, I realized what my actual task was. A text came in from the team chat saying, hey Amelia, we're gonna need coffee for about 40 people tomorrow. See you in the morning. Needless to say, I was crushed. I thought I was finally going to be able to prove myself as a, at the workshop to my mentor and bosses, three incredible women I looked up to. They possessed natural confidence that I envied and all had incredible achievements. The next morning, I set up for a Duncan and arrived at the workshop with four boxes of Joe, feeling like a deflated balloon. With everyone sufficiently caffeinated, I watched the workshop run from a table in the back with the other interns. Despite the workshop's success, it was hard for me not to be angry as well as disappointed. The way that Sophie had described how helpful it would be for me to come made me believe I would have a larger role. This experience taught me some important lessons, however. Although my role at the workshop was not what I had hoped, I still played an important part in Climbable. Just because I was an intern didn't mean that my contributions were any less important or necessary. This experience also taught me that it's okay to take a back seat sometimes, because that can be where the most learning occurs. As I was listening to the workshop, I was hearing all the conversations I wouldn't have heard if I was at one singular table, making my own statements. Because I had to be a listener at certain times at work, I was able to fully take in what others were saying, and I learned so much this year about the field of climate action. As time went on, the task that Sophie gave me eventually grew bigger and more complex. I could tell that I was gaining her trust and respect, and it took time rather than happening at a single workshop. Somehow, earning her trust this way was even more rewarding. Now, I've completed a five-year strategic plan for the company. I've interviewed CEOs, represented Climbable in important discussions, and listened to many more workshops. I've made a product that I'm proud of and that Climbable will use for years to come. I think the Amelia that was grabbing coffee for a workshop in September would be proud of where I am now. Three months later, and I've learned that no task is too big or too small. And when I have my own interns one day, I'm going to send them out for coffee. <laughs>